Yeah. Uh, I need you to verify it. Okay. Felt good this morning when I Might went outside to pick up my Uber Eats brunch. Felt breezy. I yeah. knew it warmed up later, yeah, but are be, we going to get more of that? No, we were behind a cold front. So a cold front came through. It's slowly, I mean, slowly bringing in drier air, lower humidity. You're really going to feel that tomorrow and as we head uh, into the week ahead. And very low to almost no rain chances over the next, uh, next several days as well. There is some rain around tonight, and you can see some of those clouds out there. It's downtown St. Pete right now. And some of those clouds are producing some rain. Uh, as you look around, there's a little bit of rain here and there. Uh, but for the most part, we're looking at dry weather. Uh, uh, especially later tonight and as we head into the day tomorrow. So get ready for that. Let's just show you the almanac, just how warm it got today. And you can see right here, we hit 90 degrees uh, this afternoon. And you know, a lot of times when the humidity does fall, it's easy to warm up in the daytime, but also cools down at night. Dew points today still have generally been in the low 70s. So there's been certainly some humidity uh, around still today, but we're going to notice it really fall as we head into the nighttime tonight and by tomorrow morning. There there's radar right now, uh, and you can see a couple of showers, little lightning uh, just east of Sarasota earlier, uh, but that is pretty much weekend. A little bit of heavy rain around downtown Tampa right now as well, but it's brief and pushing south to north. So uh, you got to watch out for these spotty showers and quick downpours here this evening. Eventually, that's going to really weaken. We have a cold front. Look at that over South Florida and this cooler, drier air slowly coming into our way. That represents the dry air, the brown right there. You can see it surging toward Tampa Bay and we'll really feel that uh, as we head into the next several days. As I said, by tomorrow morning, uh, look at this right here. The dew point right now 71, so it's still humid. It's in that zone right there, but we're going to see dew points maybe in the 50s at some point here over the next several days, certainly in the low 60s. So that's going to feel pretty good. No doubt about it. And you see the dew point forecast. Look at that dew point on Wednesday, 59 degrees, and then the humidity makes a bit of return as we head into the latter part of next week, but not much rain. Look at that. No rain chances really in the forecast here over the next several days until we get to Friday when we'll have about a 20 percent chance. That's about it. So our forecast tonight, here's our forecast model. Spotty shower, certainly possible. Maybe a little lightning tomorrow morning. We're going to be dry in the afternoon. We're going to be dry as well. And in same kind of weather as we head into Tuesday, we start out dry. We see a dry afternoon. I think the same kind of weather on Wednesday and Thursday as well. A look at the tropics again, and you can see we're watching these disturbances down here. Uh, you have disturbance one uh, here in the Atlantic. It's going to move in that direction. No concern there. Hurricane can stand very powerful, but it's going to turn in this direction here will not affect Florida or any US coastline. And then uh, there's the remnants of what was Teresa, but it's these two disturbances two and three we're going to watch that could maybe get toward the Caribbean uh, over the next week or so long way to go on that no concerns right now. But of course, we'll be tracking that for you. All right, 89 tomorrow. Look at that. No rain in the forecast here until Friday, and it's only a 20% chance Friday and into the weekend. Enjoy the lower humidity.